whey, versus casein. The battle of the dairy protein supplements. Arguably the two best-selling protein supplements on the market, it's finally time to put them in the fight for the ages. Let's take a closer look at our protein powerhouses, originating from our belly-busting bovine buddies. Both are considered as complete proteins, containing all the essential amino acids we humans need. And both are easily digested, where about 97% of all the protein in it, will be absorbed by the body. It's no coincidence that, these two protein brothers have become mighty popular in fitness industries. But, even though they share similar properties, they don't exactly share the same benefits. In fact, if you have ever been scrounging over the internet forums, or punching yourself in Google searches, you come to realize that, there are two key differences between whey, and casein. One, is their digestion rate. Fast digesting whey means, it is emptied from the stomach quickly, resulting in a rapid and large increase in plasma amino acids. And it begins to dissipate, roughly three hours after eating. Casein on the other hand, is a slow-acting protein, because casein is the most abundant protein in milk. It is relatively insoluble and tends to form structures called mitles, that increase solubility in water. During the processing of milk, which usually involves heat or acid, the casein peptides and mitle structure become disturbed, or denatured to form simpler structures. As a result, a gelatinous material is formed. This is the basis, the why casein has a slower rate of digestion, and results in a slow but steady release of amino acids into circulation. The benefits though is that the protein will be in the bloodstream for much longer, almost 8 hours after you eat. The other difference is indeed their protein profile. Although whey and casein are both complete proteins, they don't share the same amount of these essential amino acids. The most important is the muscle growth promoting, leucine. Whey naturally has much higher level of leucine, which should help you build more muscle. But casein protein has more muscle preserving properties. So both protein supplements are better than the other in two aspects of building muscle, or increasing muscle protein synthesis. In one study, researchers gave healthy subjects 30 grams of either whey protein, or casein protein and made several measures of the anabolic and catabolic effect for 7 hours after the meal. Whey protein resulted in a rapid increase in blood amino acids and protein synthesis, but it was short-lived. Casein on the other hand, resulted in a prolonged increase in blood amino acids that resulted in a 34% reduction in protein breakdown. The net protein balance remained more positive, after intake of casein protein over a 7-hour period. The superior long-lasting effect of casein, was attributed to a delayed gastric emptying, and slower absorption rate from the gastrointestinal tract, to the blood. Whey does have more leucine, and since leucine is important for muscle growth, shouldn't whey still clearly be the winner? Other than the fact that, casein also has leucine, and when paired with eating protein from real food sources should be enough leucine, is still has less than whey on a gram to gram basis. Because whey and casein have different, but complementary effects, many people keep both types on hand and use them differently throughout the day. Whey in the morning and after workouts, and casein before bed. Or, you can mix whey protein into a large glass of milk, about 80% casein, to combine the benefits of both. Research shows these proteins support greater increases in lean body mass, and decreases in body fat as part of a resistance training program. Before all things muscle building related whey, and casein are pretty much equal. But if I had to choose the winner, then I would personally go with, whey protein. It's less about muscle growth, but more so the fact that, it's usually easier to consume, has a better taste profile, and usually is less expensive. These are factors that you should consider as well. The best choice is really up to you. If you are a whey guy, then go for whey. If you love casein, then go with casein protein. If you're on natural and eat only real food, then it's up to you. Don't let anyone tell you anything different. Don't let protein company to tell you about your choice.